Hello everyone and welcome back to Theme Park Worldwide where it's time for a bit of a bonus vlog from our trip to Cedar Point. We've had an amazing four days up at the amusement park and make sure you check out them vlogs if you haven't already seen them. So now we have moved on from Hotel Breakers and we are down at Castaway Bay. This is another on-site hotel that Cedar Point has to offer. It's got a tropical theme. It opened back in 2004 and it also features a water park and that's where I'm going to be going this morning. I'm going to take you in the water park and show you what it's like. Now, a bit of a bonus video because we weren't actually supposed to be staying here. Uh, as we mentioned, Cedar Point it's closed for the next two days now. They closed Hotel Breakers and I booked the Express Hotel, which I've covered a couple of times on the channel before, uh, just for the night after the park, uh, before of course driving back to Cleveland and dropping off the car. But I had an email a few days ago saying that that's now gonna be closed as well and we've moved you free of charge to Castaway Bay. So a bit of an upgrade really, because we've got the water park to go in, so I'm not complaining about that. I won't be going in the water park because it was so last minute, I literally haven't bought any swim stuff. You haven't, have you? I know, and I don't I want to go and buy one that's going to be quite expensive so I'm just going to sit at the side and paint my nails. Yeah because literally like we fly out early afternoon so I've got like an hour or so just to go in the water park. I think I can take the GoPro in as well but just not on the slide. So give you a bit of a tour round of that but also this hotel. So yeah like I said it's got a Caribbean tropical theme uh, and this is located a couple of miles from Cedar Point. Five minute drive uh, just along the causeway that leads onto the peninsula. And here's a little look then outside. We'll show you the front of the hotel and all the other areas in just a moment. But you can see the Castaway Bay sign just over there. And that's like the main road uh, that leads down into Sandusky and also as well uh, to Cedar Point. In fact, you go a few hundred yards down there, you take a right turn uh, and then you pass the Express Hotel and over onto the causeway. But we'll look out there in just a second. We thought as we're up here in the room, we'll show you around. We've just packed up because of course we stayed last night. I like the flamingo on the wall. Hey, <laughs> that's nice, like flying up there. So uh, when I did the US road trip back in 2019, stayed here uh, and it looked completely different to this. You know what, it's a lot more more modern now. Uh, I think it's great like, and it's very spacious as well. So we've got a room with two big beds just over there. This is nice, little couch to sit on with a lamp just at the side. And then over here, you've got a nice table and chairs as well. Uh, and this like, it's quite interesting little seating area, isn't it? Yeah. I assume it's a seating area because obviously it's got like backrests on there. Um, but yeah, you've got some storage just underneath there as well. Uh, so I think that's quite nice. Uh, it hasn't got a carpet in here. I do prefer hotel rooms that have got a carpet, but I suppose this is to replicate the ocean down here. Yeah, I'm guessing that's what it is. We're actually in the ocean. <laughs> Maybe as well. It's because, of course, you've got the water park here, which you can go in unlimited during your stay. You know, they're thinking about people walking around in swimsuits and stuff. And walking around with wet feet on carpet and stuff. Yeah, I'd say so. There's a little look at uh, another little desk area just in the middle. And a nice lamp. Yeah, this is lovely. Piece of artwork on the wall. There's a butterfly, there's a palm tree. Headboards are really nice. And the beds are really comfortable in these Cedar Fair hotels. They are. They are super duper comfortable. Yeah, I think with uh, this one, it was a little bit smaller than the Breaker's bed. It was. The Breaker's bed was a bit bigger, so I was, I was a bit struggling for space. I nearly moved into this one, but it was okay again. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you got a nice fridge down there. I do love that about American hotel rooms. Most of them come with a fridge, you know, and obviously you can get that in some back home, but yeah, it's kind of like a standard a lot over here in the States. That's a big fridge as well, that one is. Yeah, it's got a microwave, bit of storage there. You could put like a laptop or something in there, maybe. Yeah, and another bit of storage there. Nice big algae TV. You don't get the crisps. <laughs> this is the last bit of food. We bought this all from Target. You'd have seen that in the travel vlog. Um, but yeah, we just got our last few bits here. I think we bought a bit too much, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, we did, yeah. Um, but still, <laughs> it is what it is. There we go, that's the door that goes into the room next door, because uh, it is a connecting room, this one. I don't know if they all are, probably not, but this one is. There's a massive safe down there, that's it's big. It's a bit funny, because the safe's just sort of balanced on something. Normally the safes would be like up the top. <laughs> yeah. sort of, you've got to crouch down and put your stuff yeah. in down there. It's a big safe though. Yeah, like, there you safe. go, you fit all your dollar in there, <laughs> with laptops yeah. and stuff like that. Bathroom's nice as well, just over there. Like the three lights just above. Got some tissues just there as well. Bath and body, Bath and body works. works. Hey. <laughs> Look at this, this is nice. You can see there's a laundry bag there as well. They have got laundry service available. Charlotte did that for Everything us last night. Everything has been washed. I went to get it all last night. <laughs> and there's the tub just over there as well. They're quite handy, aren't they? Some hooks just above. <laughs> also, if you do want to do your laundry and you forgot to bring any washing facilities, they do sell the stuff in the shop. 
So we went and bought them. There was like one pound ninety nine, so it wasn't too bad. Yeah, that's decent. One dollar ninety nine. And the wash facility, it was like one pound ninety for the dryer, one pound ninety for the washer. Not yeah, too it's bad, like two dollars fifty something like that. All the washing last night, it's all like those are fresh. Yeah, fantastic. But uh, anyway, it's like twenty minutes to go until the water park opens. Uh, like I said, we are a bit limited for time. We haven't got loads of time to spend in there, but still, it's not a massive water park. Um, but literally, we're just going to take all this into the car now, and then we'll start again out the front and show you the front of the hotel. There's like a massive pirate ship in the reception. Lots of theming, actually. So I thought, I want to film it. They've been so well themed here. We'll have a walk on this boardwalk out the back. Uh, there's an arcade. There's a bowling alley. There's escape rooms. Um, there's all sorts. Like, it's really nice. We're down over on this side, and there's the water park down there on the right. Free parking here as well um, for guests. And yeah, we'll show you like the High Tide Cafe down there, the Sprinkle Shack, Rockets Market. And uh, yeah, it's a nice map of this resort. It looks out over the water. So yeah, we'll go and head outside. Right then, here we are then, outside on the car park. And there's a look at the entrance to Castaway Bay. Really nice here. Like, I like how colourful the building is. And the fact that the windows uh, are circles on the left-hand side there, that kind of adds to the uh, architecture of the building as well, doesn't it? It gives it a little bit of more of a quirky feel. And then off to the right, there's the water park itself. You can see a few of the slides just over there. And yeah, never been in the water park before, even though I have stayed here before, didn't get a chance to. Uh, so looking forward to seeing that. And thought, well, we'll take you along and have a little look inside. Bit of theming just out the front. Some nice rocks as well. Welcome friends. It's like an island paradise in here. And it's quite funny because we arrived <laughs> last night after the park closed and there was some entertainment going on, like mainly for the kids, you know, like a bit of a dance party. And there was a character, wasn't there? <laughs> Turtle, but he was so cute and he was going like this. Oh, he was so adorable. <laughs> he was very nice. Castaway Bay. So I just wanted to show you really another option where you can stay here at Cedar Points. Here as you come in, you're greeted by some awesome theming. Look at this. Hey. So they're doing a bit of hoovering up. <laughs> there you go. Quite nice with all the rock works, isn't it? And this is really nice in here. So yeah, this is where they had the entertainment last night, all around this section. Yeah, you got this big pirate ship, and it all extends up into the ceiling. Like, how nice is that? Very tropical with the music. The turtle was dancing. He like was, that. like literally right here, they had some entertainment so going on. But yeah, this is a really cool piece of theming, right here in the middle. I like the tropical music, you got some like interactives around here as well. It does remind me of Splash Line, it's like the music and everything. <laughs> What's that do? It's just like an interactive feature. Castaway Bay, welcome friends. And then there is like a little boardwalk just out here at the back. So let's show you this. There we go. Thank you. So you've got a lot of other food options around here. Like you can walk down to the uh, Quaker Steakhouse just over there by the looks of it. And then that's the main road there, what leads up to Cedar Point. So literally the other side of the water. That's the Express Hotel you can just make out there. And then you follow that straight up to the peninsula. So if you are staying here, um, then obviously it is a cheaper option, the Hotel Breakers as well. But you're still in a nice themed resort. And you've got this nice little boardwalk. It's beautiful out here. Shows just how big the hotel actually is as well. All the way across, all the buildings. It's literally Cedar Point's version of Splash Landings, this place, isn't it? I'm standing a bit further back, I don't like <laughs> being so close, but this is really nice. I love how it's looking out over the water. Yeah, it's beautiful. Another nice day as well for us. Castaway Bay, just up there. Yeah, let's go back inside. Head down towards the water park and we'll just show you a few more amenities along the way. So yeah, all the different sections of the hotel are like named for our different bays. Like we were in the South Bay. Just over here, and look at these little doors that as well. That is so sweet. Ring the shell instead of ring the bell. Oh, I'm sure it worked last night, or is it the upstairs one? Oh, it's disappointing. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. So there is a shop here as well, souvenirs, swim shorts, towels. Yeah, I could buy some, but I'm not going to because I'll be Yeah, I mean, we've only got like an hour to, to go in there as well. I and mean, if we had like more time, then it might have been yeah. worth it. But Castaway Bay towels, they're quite good. How are you two doing? Swim shows. Hi, Hi, good, thank you. <laughs> Castaway Bay, just that. I like how you get the flamingo quite prominent on a lot of the merchandise here. This was the turtle that we saw. Ah, yeah, you must be like, there's the mascot of the hotel or the water park itself or the whole resort. 
Good mugs. <laughs> Cedar nice Point's merch is great. Like, look at this, just for the hotel. Like, this is great. These little bags are. Oh, very nice. Looking out over the water as well. Oh, here he is in plushy form. Is. Has he got a name or no? He's just plush figure. I don't plush think that's figure. his name, but you can get the flamingo as well. Yeah, and they sell like um, swim shorts and things down here as well. Quite nice. Mm -hmm. How much would a swimming costume knock me back? Let's have a look. Let's have goggles in here, swim shoes, some plushies. $80. Sure. $80, there you go. I'm glad I brought mine. Uh, let's look over the fridges. Got some drinks, some other bits, and medical supplies available here as well. Looking out over the lakes, very nice. There's a Holiday Inn Express over there as well. Worth pointing out, another accommodation option. Dressing room. Oh, classic lane. <laughs> Lovely. That's quite a nice design, isn't it? Oh, we just got recognised in the shop, fans of the channel. This is the reception area just here on the right hand side. Let's go and check out with the keys and then we'll carry on down this way to the water park. I think it'll be quiet in here. So the pirate ship extends around the back. The quality of this theming is great as well. And these are like little interactives. Yeah, I saw somebody on these last night. You play like a game. Yeah. That one is down the bottom there, look. You, you play, a, play a game on it. That just goes around this side again. Very nice, the captain. I like the palm trees just in here too. It's very open and light in here because it's got like the big windows down the side looking out over the water. And you can get some treats just over here as well. You get breakfast options, cereal, breakfast sandwiches just up there. Hot drinks as well. This is Rockets Market. Donuts, 173. That's, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, there here's your donuts just down here. Cookies, oh, they look good. You get a Caesar salad box just there as well. Garden oh, salad. Good. Nice healthy options available. And then muffins look good down there as well. Breakfast sandwiches. Very nice. So yeah, the water park is down in this direction. Oh, look at them bananas. They're not real, but... <laughs> Literally feel like I'm back at Alton Towers. <laughs> Sprinkle shack. Oh, that's where they do the great milkshakes. We had some of these up at Breakers. And I'll just quickly show you in here as well. So you've got the Gamers Grotto. So you can book the skate rooms, $20 per person, 30 minute escape room on the right hand side. Arcade just here. And then there's bowling as well. There we go, Castaway. See, this is what Splash Landings doesn't have and really could do with. Imagine something like this, Alton Towers, that Alton Towers themed bowling. Like you can have all the alleys themed to the different rides. Like That's so cute. Tiny little ball. It's like bowlingo, isn't it? I mean, I prefer, you know, proper bowling, like big bowling. This is cute. But yeah, it's quite nice. And I think it all works on like game cards in here. So it can get quite expensive, but there we go. Big savings. There's a $250 big savings. one that you can do, but you do get 1,200 credits, 1,200 tickets, four attractions of your choice. But this is a really cool idea. So there's a mini golf here, but obviously they don't want to staff it. Um, so I can understand why on a quiet day like this. There we go, Gordy's Mini Golf Adventure. What you do, look, is you just get your ball. There's there and you tap your game card and you choose your ball, which I think is quite cool. And there's all the clubs. That's, that's a really cool idea. And look at this. How nice is the theming in here? If we'd have had time, we'd have definitely had a game, right? We weren't expecting this. We were just going to chill out this morning uh, at the Express Hotel, which obviously, you know, isn't themed or anything like that. Um, and then just drive back to the airport, ready for the flight this afternoon. But shame we haven't had more time here, to be honest, because this is a lovely resort here. And it's itself, like, I could spend a full day around here, like, enjoying the water park, the slides, there's a wave pool in there, I know that. Like I said, I don't think the water park's massive, but well, we'll find out in a, in a few minutes. Just gone 10 o'clock, so it should be opening now as well. So from 10 till 8, the water park. From looking at the times, that's like the pretty standard uh, opening times that they do here. This is great. What I like in here is the lighting around the side and the clouds as well. Like, it's all like UV lit up. So if you are staying here with kids, like you've got lots of activities to do even when the park closes. Uh, I know I'd have loved this when I was a kid. In fact, I'd have loved the game on this now. Like, me and Charlotte love a good uh, mini golf, don't we? Very competitive on mini golf. Very much so. I'm a bit disappointed we can't play on this one, but like I said, we haven't got time. Just thought we'd have a little walk through there and show you it. 
And that's the arcade, yeah, I mean, I can say escape rooms just in there as well, I don't know what we can see. Ooh, looks pretty well themed, I imagine it's all shipwreck themed by the looks of it. High Tide Cafe. So this looks like the main restaurant that there is here. I can't see like a main menu out or anything, but it's breakfast at the moment. Just over there. The room rate doesn't come with breakfast. You do have to pay extra for it. There's a look at the breakfast. I can see some waffles over there. So literally down here is the entrance to the Castaway Bay Water Park. And there's another arcade actually as well down here. Like I said, I believe we're going to be able to take the GoPro in from doing a bit of research. Obviously, it was all a bit last minute, this one. But uh, yeah, I believe we can take the GoPro in, just not on the slides. So we're going to be able to show you a little bit inside. Gamers Grotto. So yeah, this is another massive arcade. It goes all the way around the corner, and it has also got some views of the water park in there as well. There you go. Is it not? No. Oh. Oh, I'm not too sure. There's not many people waiting, is there? But uh, there we go. So Charlotte's coming in, but you're just going to chill out, aren't you, at the I side? I paint my nails at the side because they're all chipped. Yeah, you painted them blue just for castaway. Just for castaway. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we'll just wait here and then uh, she'll be out in a minute. Oh, I was a member of staff there. And here we go then, just gone 10 o'clock and Castaway Bay is open. There's literally about 10 people who were queuing up at the entrance to come in. I already have my shorts on. That means I'm straight in. Big wave fall over here. Charlotte's happy, she's just chilled out over there. <laughs> Look at this, I'll tell you what, straight away, nice theme in here. That looks like the Master Blaster, doesn't it? Alton Towers Water Park. And you can see all the ceiling in here. Yeah, that's like the main slide that runs round. So yeah, you are allowed to use the GoPro, you can use your phone in here, but just not on the slide. That's it for the waves. Oh, I should have jumped in sooner. <laughs> nice all the rock work down here though. I've got to say, like, it's a really nice kind of feel resort hotel here. It's not too deep down here either. It's a little bit chilly though, maybe just because it's open this morning. All the rock work. Very nice. Palm trees at the side, plenty of lifeguards around. It's lovely. I can't believe this is open till 8 o'clock tonight. Like, you wouldn't think it'd be open till 8, would you, with how quiet it is? But uh, anyway, let's go and have a bit of a walk around, shall we? Let's go and see what other areas there is here at Castaway Bay. This is nice though, very well themed. I like the wooden structure of the ceiling as well. Yeah, and from a capacity point of view, it's got like an entrance and an exit to here. There yeah. Have a little stroll around, see what there is. I'm sure it will get busier than this. I may not make the most of it now. Yeah, it's like a kid's area just over here. Octopus just over there. I like the fish there with the water coming out. <laughs> Big octopus, or is it a squid? I don't know. A couple of slides for the kids over there. And here's a map of the water park. Oh wow. Yeah, we've got three slides just over there. They're all body slides. A couple of slides on this tower complex. And the main side is Master Blaster, so I won't be able to take you on there, but I will go on it. So it looks like there's one big main slide, three main body slides, and then these ones over here. Wave pool, which we've just seen, and that's all the changing facilities just over there. Towels are provided as well when you arrive. Oh, these are good fun. <laughs> I like these, like where you run across and try not to fall in. Surfside Beach Bar and Grill. Adult beverages, fresh baked pizza, and ice cream treats. Sounds good. I thought while there's like nobody in here, it's a great opportunity to walk around and just get lots of footage. There you go, a couple of slides just here for the kids. And there's a water gun there as well. It's very nice and uh, airy in here, if you know what I mean. Like, and you look up to the top and you can just see out, you know, which is great. You know what, whilst there's no queue, I think I'm going to go and jump on this Master Blaster over here. Hopefully they can do single riders. So I'm just going to give Charlotte the GoPro um, while I go on this slide. It starts up there, there's no queue at all. So yeah, may as well do that before it gets busy. And then I'll carry on having a bit of a look round. 
And then, yeah, there's the body size. So I'll give one of those a go and see what they're like. Oh, well, that was really good fun. I literally feel like I've gone from Ohio back to Staffordshire and the Alton Towers water park for a ride on the Master Blaster. Very similar, even looks similar. And with that as well, of course, it's got the launches, so to speak. You know, it takes you up with the water pressure. Uh, quite a few drops on there. It was a little bit shorter than the Master Blaster, but still, it was a really good fun ride and I walked straight on as well. The good thing is, single riders have permitted. You've just got to sit in the back. Uh, and along with that, you can fit two of you in there, depending on the maximum weight restrictions as well. It was really good fun. There's Charlotte down here. <laughs> Why not? I'll leave you to it. Yeah, I've got them now. I've just got to let them dry. Nice relaxing morning for Charlotte. <laughs> yeah, the ride, of course, started up there at the top. You didn't have to carry your ring up either. That's done on a conveyor. And then it dropped down, made its way up into this little S-bend here around the top. A nice drop there. Got a little bit of air time in the back. And then it just meandered round down to the left and to the landing pool. Waves are back on now. Tell you what though, I'm impressed with this. It's very clean in here. Like sometimes water parks don't feel that clean, do they? But this does. Yeah, and the landing pool was just over there in that direction. We'll head up on here shortly. Hanks, hang out. We'll go all the way up the top. Now, unfortunately, them three other body slides are closed. Um, but there we go. These ones are open just over here. And there's also an outdoor pool down here by the looks of it, like a hot tub and an outdoor pool. So we'll go in there in a moment. Let me show you around here first. I like all the rock work, all the landscaping around, like it looks really good. And obviously I can't take you on the slide, but I'll take you back up the queue line because you get some really good views up there. Yeah, so these two attractions are closed at the moment, maybe because it's a quiet day. I'm getting dripped on. And you can see they've got the net out. Yeah, it's a very small pool, but you can play like basketball in that one. And then here's the other slide. Water is flowing, so I think they might open. Obviously, we've only got about an hour in here before we need to leave for the flight. But uh, yeah, like great for free. Like I wasn't expecting the upgrade. Yeah, so I think they will open, or maybe they're on a rotational thing. All these slides are open on here though, a few small ones. And yeah, the ride's actually called Rocket Canopy Coaster, just over there. There's the weight restrictions, just over there as well. And yeah, you've got these smaller slides. Like I won't be able to take the GoPro on the, on the coaster, as they call it. But I'll just show you up here a little bit so you can see across the water park. So there's some good views from up here. The floor's not too slippy either. There we go, so that was the first drop. Started just up there, came down this drop. And then here's the big treehouse, the tipping bucket up there as well. This is nice. Really like it in here. I wasn't expecting it to be as well themed, because obviously Cedar Point, it's not a theme park, it is an amusement park. But what they've done with this is certainly themed. Little body slides. I didn't realize there was an outdoor area as well. Small outdoor pool around that corner. And then that leads down to the car park. Uh, that one's closed off at the moment. I think they're rotating the slides by the looks of it. Let's go and have a look then downstairs. Go and head into that uh, outdoor pool. Here's me rushing up to the slide. Like there's a couple of people trickling up, but not many. Worth getting on there though. Nice little bonus vlog from Cedar Point. And then what's happening this afternoon is that we're driving back to Cleveland uh, and then we're flying from Cleveland back to New York and then we're getting started with a few more parks around there. Woo -hoo -hoo, this is what I'm talking about. It's a hot tub, not just a normal pool. Wow, this is nice. I like the uh, waterfall. What's interesting here, what I've never seen before at a water park, but it's actually really good to stop overcrowding, is that they actually close the gate. So it's got like a maximum capacity on there and they'll close the gate if the pool gets too busy. I mean, that's not gonna happen today, but that's a great idea. Like, it stops this becoming out of control, you know. Oh, this is just what you need before a flight. I mean, we're only flying two hours back to New York, but still. <laughs> 
Lovely. Shame Charlotte didn't bring a swimsuit. A little chair there as well for those that need it to get into the pool for accessibility. Let's go outside. Oh, very nice. That's where it's at. A bit croaky out here. <laughs> only three foot deep so oh that's quite nice though lovely sunshine then as well it's supposed to rain this afternoon so we've done quite well for weather this time here at Cedar Point now to look up to the water park it's gonna chill here for five minutes now oh, lovely Gordy's Getaway Spa. Some nice murals. And we're back in. Oh, that was lovely. Spent about 10 minutes just chilling out there. Right, I think it's time to go and have a bit of an explore up on this tower complex. Obviously, GoPros don't really like water that much. I mean, the waterproof, but the microphones don't really like water that much. <laughs> so it might go a bit muffled, but we'll go up and have a look on this huge complex just over here. Hanks hang out. Oh, there's a bucket. Oh, this feels really cold now. A bit like the wacky waterworks at Alton Towers, though. It's quite funny, really, because they opened a year apart as well. Like Splash Landings was 2003, this was 2004. Makes me wonder, did they have the same designer or something? Oh. They feel very similar. Oh, turned it off. Hey, oh my God. <laughs> oh, it's all gushing out. That slide's closed. Is the water flowing there? I think it is. Oh, there we go. It's a bit of a queue down the stairs now. Yeah, so that's the landing pool over there for the big uh, Master Blaster style slide. Very cool system, actually. It's like a full circuit. And then this lift mechanism brings the boats up. It's better, that is. Don't you just take water parts where you have to carry up your own ring. So it's exciting. Oh. Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> that net really dropped down. Is this gun gonna work? Doesn't look like it will. No. <laughs> so you got one small side there. This one here. Just got a couple of helixes on. This net drops a lot. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, that's a cheeky one. You can get people coming off. A little shower, is that one? No? Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice features. You wait here for someone to come past who doesn't expect it, and then you get them. <laughs> Someone's lost the boat here as well. And there's the big bucket. Oh, I can hear the bell ringing. I think that means it's going to go, so I'm getting out of the way. <laughs> Literally, surely it was the same designer that did that Alton Towers. Are we looking at a piece of history here or what? Like, it seems really interesting. So many of the features are the same. Even the paintwork on the slide. Maybe it was done by the same water park designer or something. Like it seems really interesting. Even like the bell up there for the bucket. Off it goes. Oh, you realise that half the bucket is for show when you come to the back. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's only half filled. Oh, there's a clicker there. Very nice. 
Right. Right, I think we're going to head back down into the wave pool. I think that's everything around here. Yeah, they're still closed over there. Worth coming in though, you got to think. We haven't paid any extra to come into here. I'm sure you can pay to just come here if you want to, even if you're not at the hotel, but I'm not 100% sure. But I reckon you can do. How do we get back down? There we go, this way. Ooh. This would be too much water up here for Charlotte. That's another slide. And then we're back down at the bottom. Very nice. Yes, that's all the different areas of Castaway Bay. Basically, I've just seen a flying like one of them. What's it called? A oh, a lifeboat. Yeah, it nearly hit my feet. It sort of went flying. You've been having a nice catch up on the Wi-Fi. Yeah, the Wi-Fi's not very good, actually. Is it not? Very slow, but I have done my nails. Oh, the Wi-Fi is good in the hotel itself, though. But I mean, at least there is Wi-Fi in the, in the water. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm just going to... Oh, they're stopped oh, again now. Yeah. They must be they're quite often. Yeah, they're quite regular. Probably like every five, ten minutes. Oh, I'll probably just wait for them then and jump in. Oh, right then, just going to wait in here for the waves. Doesn't seem like it's going to be too long. There's a lot of people gathered. And again, much like that hot tub, there's actually a gate um, on this as well. So if you just get too busy, they can just close it off, which I think is fantastic. I mean, in wave pools especially, there's a lot of kind of pushing and shoving goes on sometimes. Unintentionally, I think, you know, because the waves are coming down. People like fall into each other and stuff. So you just kind of stop that, uh, which is great. So yeah, just going to chill out in here now and just wait for the waves. Way, here we go. Oh, <laughs> we need to go a bit deeper into it here. I'm too shallow. Oi. Oh. <laughs> oh, they're knocking me over. <laughs> Oi. This is it. We're in action. Oh. There we go. Oi. Yeah, you don't really want to be standing up here in a way for that. That's it. The deeper castaway bay. I like the big side. Woo. <laughs> It's not too deep down here though, like you can still perfectly stand up. Four feet I think it says. Ooh. Way <laughs> It's nice in here, like, I really like it. I think the only thing that I maybe add to it is just some like sound effects around, some tropical sounds. Saying that, the sound of the water is just quite nice and relaxing, isn't it? Ooh. Not really done many water parks outside of Florida in America. So it's nice to come and do this one and see it, you know, better bonus time. And it's one of them because obviously Cedar Point's closed for the next two days. If it had been open today, of course, we'd have just gone in the park for 90 minutes and gone on Maverick and Steel Vengeance again. So it's actually worked out quite good for us that it has been shut, as I probably would never have come to discover this, but this shuts at eight o'clock. Um, you know, and the park was shutting at eight. So, you know, we wouldn't have seen it. So it's nice to actually come here and, and check it out, you know. A little blessing in disguise because it's a, a really nice themed experience. Nice little bonus. I didn't think I'd be filming a, a water park vlog for you all this trip, but here we are. That's how we roll on theme park worldwide. Whee! <laughs> Woo! But yeah, in a minute we'll uh, get dressed and of course go make our way outside where we'll wrap up the vlog. Nice little tour of this here, but I'm very impressed actually. It's very nice there. I could spend like a few hours in here probably. Shane, them other slides are closed and we still are from looking over there. Well, maybe they rotate round at different parts of the day. You gotta think most people are probably gonna be in here for at least half a day and might even go out for a little bit and then come in again later, you know. I'd like to do one of the uh, Kalahari water parks at some point. They're supposed to be good and there's one not too far away at all. So I would like to uh, like to do one of them at some point, but obviously, you know, I do like my water parks, but I do prefer the theme parks. But still, this is nice. I think for me, when the theme parks closed, I can enjoy a water park more because I know that I'm not missing out on loads of my favourite rides. Hey, yeah, it's really good in here. Whoa! Rides need to be moved to the shallow end. <laughs> well, I get a couple more shots, and then we'll head out and uh, yeah, wrap up the vlog. See the point. Bonus vlog. Ask away, babe.
Well, there we go. I'm all changed back into my clothes. Charlotte's nails are painted. And we've had a good time there at Castaway Bay. Uh, I tell you what, that water park is lovely in there. It's very clean. There's loads of lifeguards around. There's some great attractions. The pools are really nice as well. I guess the only negative was them other slides being closed. But like I say, water was running through the troughs. So maybe they're on like a rotational thing that might change at 11 o'clock. I mean, literally, we've done 45 minutes in there. Uh, we've had to leave because we've got the flight at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, but I enjoyed it in there. It's nice. I'm sad that I didn't have a swimming costume but I didn't really want to pay $80 for them but inside it was really nice like Sean said it was really clean there was loads of places to sit as well which you really want at a water park and some wi-fi slow but there slow, was there slow but there was there a lot of the time in <laughs> a water park you don't get it do no, you, you know, don't, so no. that's good but uh, no, overall I think it's a really nice water park um, I enjoyed it in there I could have easily stayed in there maybe three four hours especially in that uh, hot tub area that was half inside and half outside and obviously I've not said this to Charlotte yet actually but uh, I don't know if you noticed on like the wave pool and a few other bits they had a gate to close it off for capacity Oh, so if I it did gets wonder too busy, what the gate yeah. was and then they shut it off. Oh, that makes sense. How often do you go water parks and the pool is heaving? Yeah, exactly. uh, it's like, you know, they've got the gates on. That's a really cool thing that I've never really seen done anywhere else. So I thought that was really nice, how they can actually close it off if they think, no, this is too busy now. Uh, so I think that's good. Uh, and just overall, it's a really nice water park. Enjoyed it in there. Uh, very well themed. Lots of splash landing features <laughs> in there. It does make me think, um, again, I was saying this on the camera, it kind of feels like the splash landings opened only one year before uh, in 2003. Maybe it was yeah, or maybe the same company that did the water slides. I mean, I'm not really up on my water slide manufacturers and stuff, really. I know, like white water and a pro slide and stuff, but I'm not exactly too sure on them, like the coasters. Um, but obviously, yeah, maybe it was all done by the same company because there's a lot of very similar features in there, like the bow on the tipping bucket and stuff as well. Uh, and then we move on to the hotel itself. Very nice. Yeah, I think it's really nice. The theming in here is lovely, and I love that turtle that was out doing a little <laughs> dance. We didn't see him in the video, but we did see him last night. Yeah, we should have uh, brought the camera down and got him <laughs> last night, but obviously, it was quite late. We were doing some laundry and stuff and then we thought wow we're here we may as well do a bonus video and you know what nice bonus vlog water park vlog for this trip wasn't expecting it we thought we may as well squeeze it in we were literally just going to chill out at the express we till checkout time and drive back to the airport and have a chick-fil-a oh, uh well the good thing wait. is now we've had a nice day here um we've been in the water park and we can now drive back to the airport and have a chick-fil-a chick-fil-a <laughs> mac and cheese is just oh it's so good i'm gonna go large so what the plan is now we want to film a travel vlog for this part of the trip because it'll be similar to what we've already done really we're flying back to LaGuardia airport in New York uh, and when we get there we're going to be getting public transport into New York itself um, you know how it works in New York you've got the subway you've got trains lots of transport around with it being the big city we're staying on Manhattan itself um, and then yeah we're going to be doing some sightseeing over on the Sandbrook Adventures and also as well we're doing a few parks around that area which are coming up next uh, Nickelodeon Universe in New Jersey at the American Dream Mall first visit there for Charlotte I'm as well I'm really looking forward to that I've heard some good things about it we're heading to Six Flags Great Adventure to hopefully get on King Dakar please, please. <laughs> and along with that as well uh, we're doing uh, Dino's Wonder Wheel Fun Park which is down in Luna Park uh, as well but all in Coney Island and we're heading to two other parks Playland Park uh, and also as well Adventureland so we've got quite a lot to pack into the next like five days it's all coming up here on Theme Park Worldwide and then we're back home and it's ready for Hyperion Yay! but a uh, lot's coming up it's so exciting then we're out to Asia an amazing year on Theme Park Worldwide lots already happened lots to come and of course thanks for joining us we're here from Castaway Bay that leaves with one final thing to say get out there and keep on riding see you in new york <laughs>